Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 19 Special Type of Quadrilaterals Exercise 19 D Question Number 1 It says, in a parallelogram PQRS, angle S is equal to 75 degrees and we have determined the measures of angle P and angle Q, right? Okay. First, let's begin by making this parallelogram PQRS, right? General shape that we all are aware of the parallelogram, how it is made, something like this. Yes? Or maybe this is a little bit straight, okay? So this is what a parallelogram basically is, right? Now see, in this parallelogram, I'll give the names P, Q, R, S. Look here, we have angle S, right, which is 75 degrees. And we have to determine the measures of angle P and angle Q. Okay, very simple, right? We are going to use a property, right? What is that property? This is the property of the parallelogram that says the opposite sides and angles of a parallelogram are equal, right? What do I mean by this? See, this is angle S. Which is the angle opposite to angle S? Angle Q. Yes. Or no? Yes, of course, because opposite angles don't have any common arm. But you can see angle P, angle R share their arm with this angle S, right? This is common. But this is different completely. So angle Q is opposite to angle S. So you can write here, angle S will be equal to angle Q. How? Opposite angles of a parallelogram right for writing angles i'm representing the sign with the s for writing parallelograms two lines that represent parallel and then gram gm right r equal okay this is the property that says opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal i also said sides but here we don't need the sides so we're not talking about them now that means what angle q will be equal to what is the value of angle s 75 so angle Q will be equal to 75 degrees. Okay. One thing we have already found out. What else do we need to find? Angle P. Right. We have to find angle P, right? So this angle now, C. We will use the property of what? Of the parallel lines, right? Because what do the parallel lines say? Right, when the transversal intersects two parallel lines, the co-interior angles are supplementary, okay? So, here, what are the co-interior angles? See, in the parallelogram, these two lines are opposed, uh, parallel to each other or no? Yes, this and this is intersecting. So, co-interior angles like this, they are supplementary. Supplementary means their sum will be equal to 180 degrees, right? So, we will be adding these two angles, right? Look here. So let's erase this first of all so we'll have angle p right plus angle q that will be equal to 180 degrees you can write here co interior angles are supplementary yes or no fine so, co-interior angles are supplementary. This is the property we have studied in class 7th, right? In the chapter about lines and angles and all that. This is a quite simple property. Like you have studied vertically opposite angles, same here. Okay, but a little different. They are 180 degrees, right? Now, see here. Let's put the value. We know angle Q is 75. So, we have substituted this. Now, what we will have? angle p is equal to 180 take this plus 75 to this uh, side you will have minus 75 therefore angle p will be equal to 5 0 and 1 105 and we also took out angle q that is 75 degrees right both of them were asked so both of these are your final answer right 105 and 75 and friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves. And